Okay, here we are again, and I guess we're gonna just jump right in here. I guess we're gonna do, um, yeah, I think we're gonna do straight hair first. A lot of people do straight hair, and then we'll probably go with curly hair, and then pigtails, braids, yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> um, okay, first we're gonna start over here, because I, I guess there are a couple ways to do straight hair. This isn't normally how I do it, but I guess I did it on that other thing, so. One of the things you can do on these girls with straight hair, kind of a traditional Japanese, Chinese um, hairstyle for ladies, is like the triple size of their hair. Um, you've got the short bangs, you've got the medium, um, I don't know what they're called, the things that they put in front of their ears, and you've got the long back normal. It's all cut very straight, kept very straight. Um, you know, I'm not doing a very good job on this arm, am I? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, happy. Um, moving on to the next one. Another thing you can do is you can start the bangs over here and have them be like. You don't even have to, if, even if you want them straight, you don't have to have them be like that. They can be like kagome, where, I forgot to add this onto the bangs, it's that center push thing. And, um, you know, you can have her little things going on. And then you can come back here, you can even have a part back here if you want, or you don't have to. You know, you can have, um, that kind of thing going on. Um, um, I'm trying to think of how to start bangs for a girl with curly hair. I don't see very many girls with curly hair. Well, I guess we'll just do the whole, yeah. Um, I guess we'll actually, we'll pull it back. We'll give her hair like one of my friends has. This nice little headband. You can also use headbands, you can use hair accessories, you can use those little balls or hairpins or whatever you want to use. And we'll bring her hair, make her hair poofy. Kind of much little, little tiny pushish. You can do curly hair a lot of different ways. You, know, you can do it like I'm doing it. You know, you can do curly cues, you can actually draw out a lot of the things, you can actually go in there and literally, like, that's for, like, really detailed people, but I'm just more like, like, you know, I love the, the people who go in with the details and the curly cues and stuff, a word of advice, don't make your main character something quite so hard to draw. Um, because you're going to be drawing this character so much and so many times. It's like, you ask manga artists and they're going to tell you straight up, you know, if you're going to put them in something really, really fancy or give them really wild hair or something like that, make it somebody that's not going to show up much, something that's only a one-time thing, or a story that's not going to happen that for that very long, because you're going to have to do that over and 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 over. And if you think that I'm exaggerating, try it. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> try it. It's that fun. If you have, like, if you have little cheats, like, you want to do a person in a plaid shirt, you just put plaid over it, and it doesn't matter that it doesn't follow the clothing line, that's a nice little cheat to have. A lot of people use that. Um, but if you're actually planning, like, an elegant dress or gown or a tuxedo with, like, little knobbies and pins and princely stuff everywhere, you know, if you're going to do that, it's like... Keep it, keep it short. 
um, let's do one of these hairs that have the up thing in the middle. More bangs that I forgot to put on the actual bangs thing. Come over here. We'll give this girl pigtails, so we'll come here and... And it's okay sometimes if you come above the hairline, because I mean, if I got poofy, huge, wild hair, that's, that's cool. It's kind of like green there. And if you need to, like, look in the mirror to see how your hair moves and how your hair does things. And, you know, we'll give her, like, little scrunchies, whatever those things are, with the frills and the happies and the, you know. And, yeah. You got a little hair that comes off because it's not, it's always a couple that aren't the right size. And you can do... Like for these huge, huge curly cues of death, you know, some people will just, yeah, draw them in. Depending, I mean, you wouldn't, like I said, you wouldn't want to do it like every single time. Unless you want to like make it easier for yourself by coming up with a shortcut. But, um, you know, you don't want to do something that's too hard because... When you're making longer for a living, you have deadlines and deadlines and deadlines, and it's ridiculous. And if you don't think that you have deadlines, you are wrong. <laughs> um, deadlines and deadlines and deadlines, and if you don't get those deadlines done, people get angry, you get fired, you lose jobs, and yay, <laughs> the real world. But um, anything to speed yourself up is really a, a huge thing. And, you know, the further you can get before you actually get into something so you don't have to learn it all later. Yeah, I'm just crapping in the next one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. Anything you can do to just make it a little easier is, you know, yeah. Now, if somebody wants me to go back and bring a video and um, do a video of something like, like yeah, that I just kind of crapped over lately, please do. I'm more than happy to spend more time on something that I crapped out earlier or I completely forgot to go over. I'm more than happy to. I'm, I would love to. I really would. I'm running out of time. Okay, we're going to come back here and we're going to give her a braid. And braids are difficult, so I might have to run into the next video. Um, I'm going to give her a cute little bow. Happy. Um, now, first, we're going to, you know, see how long we want it, and like, yeah. I'm going to give her another little bow down here, and then we're going to kind of do this cross thing, you know? And then we're kind of going to erase it, and then we're going to come in again. And we're going to start off here. And I'm horrible with braids, so... Um, but this part I'm gonna see, it, it's like folding in, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think I'll spend a little time on this one in the next video on braids. That's kind of a braid. I'll go into more in the next video, so stay tuned next time.